if you want your website to appear in search engine results, you want you'll want this search engines to come and have a look at your website and all the web pages on your website. And one way you can help them do that is by creating a sitemap of your website, an XML sitemap of your website. And this is what one of those looks like. Don't be intimidated, it's just for the search engines to read. And in this lesson, we're going to have a look at how you create that sitemap for your website. It's really straightforward, and once it's in place, you can just forget about it. To create a sitemap for our website, we're going to use an extra. So go to the extras installer, download extras, you've seen this before, and then search for Google and the plugin we want is Google Sitemap. So download that. Back to the package manager. Install. That's installed okay. Now we need to create a page for the sitemap. So we'll call that sitemap. And this page has been given the default template the index. We want to not use any templates because it is just going to be a purely XML file. I'm in the settings, go to the content type, and this is going to be an XML file, which is a format that the sitemap is written in. And because this page is XML, we don't want to use the rich text editor because we're just calling the Google sitemap extra, which generates all the code we need. Go back to the document tab. And this page, we don't want to see this page in the menu, so we're going to hide it from menus. And we want it to be published. Then in the content box, type a extras call Google sitemap save let's view that so this is an XML file and this is what the search engines like to see it gives the um, URL of the page and other information last time it was modified after it changes and the priority and it lists all your different pages so whenever we add a new page to our site, we have that published, save. And we really like reload our sitemap. It's automatically uh, registers in the sitemap XML file. So the search engines will look at that first and say, OK, there's another new page. Let's have a look at that and see if we want it to appear on our so in our search engine results. It's also a good idea to register your website with Google and specifically with Webmaster Tools. And in Webmaster Tools, there's an option for you to submit your sitemap so that they are aware of your website and they're aware of all the pages on your website. And it helps them crawl your site and lots of people use Google, so that's well worth doing.